What's up guys, Tyler Casey here, and today I'm gonna to show you this lens that I use to get these crazy shots. I hope you guys are having a good day. I'm getting some editing done right now, but I wanted to break down this lens that I recently used because it's super unique and I had a lot of fun using it. It's actually Hatch 86's lens. It's the Laowa 24 millimeter probe lens. I actually used this on a recent music video that I did for I'm Sue and Cool John Saucy. I filmed a bunch of scenes with this with chicken nuggets, french fries to make it look miniature. I actually green screened them onto the little set pieces that we built with chicken nuggets and sauce packets. Cool thing about this lens is how close it focuses. It comes in this sweet little case, works on mini mounts. This was an EF mount, so you have to have an adapter if you have a Sony or GH5. We used it on the Sony and the GH5. We also had access to a RED, but the thing about this lens, it only opens up to an F14 because the depth of field is so shallow. So the RED cameras require a lot of light, so we didn't even use the RED. We used either the Sony or my GH5S like we did on the Saucy video. We did a test shoot with this lens. We had two apertures above shining through some diffusion. They both had the Fresnel lens on and they were both at 100%. Hatch 86 had some old motorized slider that he had, so we were using that. You definitely want smooth movement with this because this lens is so close, any jittery movement, you're gonna get camera shake. Especially on my shoot where people were walking around the house, we actually saw it every time someone took a step. So we had to have people stand still or else the camera would shake. The crazy thing with this lens is how close you can get to things. If you've ever taken a normal lens and just tried to focus on something really close, it's not really gonna work that well. Most macro lenses are super long, like 100 millimeters where you get super close to things. But with this lens, it's 24 millimeters, but you can focus insanely close. Another cool thing about this lens is the fact that the front part is actually waterproof. So this is super cool because you can dip it into water, you can get it wet, you see that we're like spraying the water bottle to give some mist on the actual images. So this definitely looks cool and you don't have to worry as much and you can pull off some really cool product shots. Also comes with a ring light on the front of it. So this is definitely cool if you need to add some fill. So this is more of a specialty lens. I definitely probably would not buy this lens unless if you're doing product photography, this can definitely be useful there, but for everyday shooting, probably not. This lens is for you. I'm gonna link it right down there below so you guys can check it out. If you guys are in the Bay Area and maybe wanna rent this lens, make sure to hit up my guy, Hatch86 Films. I'm gonna link him right down there. We had a lot of fun testing out this lens, so comment down below. Let me know some ways that you guys would use this. I definitely wanted to use this lens to use green screen performances and chicken nuggets. I'm actually gonna read some comments from the last video, so let's check these out. So this was from my last video, best music video gimbal, the Zoo-In Weeble S. Someone wants to know, how do you keep focus in the first shot walking backwards? I don't see you pulling focus. So I actually do use autofocus on the GH5 and the GH5S. It works most of the time. I'm actually using it right now in all most of my videos. You can see sometimes it loses focus if I move back and forth. See if it'll focus on my hand. No. It's on face focus right now, so it follows my face. I wouldn't use autofocus with the Metabones. I'm using a native uh, Micro Four Thirds lens. So there's that. It's decent. It's not as good as Sony, but it works. RL Media 4K says, thinking of switching to the Weeble from the Ronin SC. Uh, been having a lot of problems with it. I've been hearing that the Ronin S C, uh, I think the smaller version, I think a lot of people, they say like when you go to tilt it upside down, the eyepiece will hit. So definitely the Weeble S, they thought of that. I also felt like the Ronin was super heavy. I know they made a smaller version, but I don't know. The Weeble packs a strong punch. Drama FLS production says, but I'm dumb buying gimbals. This is pretty funny because buying gimbals and buying gear gets pretty tiring after a while because i'm sure you guys know as soon as you buy a camera a new camera comes out and you just get caught in the cycle i haven't bought a new gimbal for a while and they actually sent me this one i was pretty happy with my old gimbal and even comparing it to the old crane i definitely could have kept using that this one definitely has better features i like the locking mechanisms and all that stuff on it but if your gimbal works don't upgrade a gimbal don't get caught rebuying gear. There's also a point though, I also think, where you can sell your gear for a decent amount and then rebuy some new gear and not take that much of a loss. Davey Fresh says, you always look tired. Please sleep more and take care of yourself. I actually do get a lot of sleep. I usually film my YouTube videos in the morning though, so I might look kind of tired. 
or maybe that's just how my face looks. I'm not sure. Comment down below. Let me know if I look tired. Um, but yeah, appreciate you guys commenting. I'm going to try and keep reading the comments at the end of every video. So maybe you'll be featured. So comment down below. Let me know some ways you guys would use this lens and I'll read your comments in the next video. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe right down below. I appreciate you guys watching. Had a lot of fun filming this one. More videos coming soon. I'll catch you guys next time. Thanks.